Okay. Insert Gaia kernel. Wop. I'll take that back. Yes. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. I don't, I don't like that there's a black border Aluthia. and the, the That's one of the subfunctions sub you couldn't now. detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Okay. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Ooh. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. Yeah. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It must it is be a also trap. It's possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. Very you much think be a it's trap. Lucia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code, a distress signal, a desperate plea for help. Luthia. Why would Eluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection, or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress Bro. signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Eluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or, it's or someone else is Venus. trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Yeah, or it's the Zeniths, yeah. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them then. Hmm. Got the transmission. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Yeah, the Winchesters were a bunch of weirdos. They really were. All right, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erin and Varl yes. via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. Yes. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eluthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and We're coming with you. Good. Teammates, allies. Fine. Go grab your things. They're at the exact well, same the spot. Exit, okay, but to be honest, to upgrade your they, gear. okay, the black box one. But they could be at the exact same spot, but at a different point in the game, because like we go to this, we come back and forth between here like a lot. Aloy, I got it. Sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? Uh, questions about subordinate functions. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Aether. You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that Aether at work? Yes. 
Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather but essentially, uh, what, what happened, Andy, was being. we found... So we have a bunch of That'll subordinate functions we got to supply with Gaia to make her all-powerful again. Is still recovering after and we found one, but it could be flood. sketchy, so we don't know if it's legit or if it's the big bad guys being like, Hey, come find me! There could be a, it could be a trap, is what we were going over. Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions... Ether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. One in the museum appears to have been sufficient, mm, okay. given that the holographic displays were still active. So Ether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to. Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. Poseidon. So, Poseidon, what do we know about it? Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Once it is restored to me, I may be able to improve conditions in the regional watershed. But I must warn you, like the others, Poseidon is lost and frightened. It may have taken measures to protect itself. I'll be careful. Demeter. What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. Subordinate functions. The Yay. missing subordinate functions. Oh, what the can you tell me about are black them? again. Artemis rewilded the earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for just we nurturing and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Pharaoh sucks. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. Yes. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose. Which we might have found one, might prevented. have found another doing one. So. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Perhaps you will be able to procure Eleuthia at the SOS coordinates. Artemis and Apollo, however, remain unaccounted for. Uh, our progress. Companions. How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. Almost like. Though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to hey, Casey, do you believe in ghosts? recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. Companions. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However... Zo and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. I hope so. Well, keep at it. You're doing great, girl. Varl and Zo seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zo discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. Vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out oh, this lifestyle. Oh no. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. Good, good. 
Forcing someone into into a diet is never a good thing. I'm glad they came to an agreement. Glad. Last thing we need is them fighting over converting to vegetarianism. Yeah. How's Aaron handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What do you do? What do you do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to. Are you fucking kidding temple. me? Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being. He broke the focus by trying to put it on his head. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. True, we have a lot of extras. About the world. Uh, Elizabeth. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend. Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. True. Elizabeth was Thanks, legend. Kaya. She was legendary. Zero Dawn. So, Project Zero Dawn, <laughs> Zero Dawn. <laughs> the greatest minds in the world, all working to build the terraforming system while the feral plague he's, he's devoured the fight. planet. To get what was it like? With me. Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. Old world discoveries. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a feral research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with, too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic oh, stabilization the DLC. project. DLC in the other game. the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact. With no success. Is Given it me, Casey? Given previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. Every the day TV of the year is my birthday. Talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, 
Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, Yikes. an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. Huh. Interesting. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. This place. So this Moving along, facility Moving along. Was a regional control center. It was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. True. <laughs> True. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a look. You can't, Casey. You're not allowed. Not yet. Time for me to go. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well, Aloy. Not uh, yet, you're not allowed yet, yet Casey. Yet. We did it. Level 45 now. Okay, so the next quest we're doing. Oh, we have to, we have to put those on hold and we have to do the Cardinal of Echoes. I mean, it is the next lowest level. Okay. That's fine. Get this. Knockdown shot. Kids these days, he says. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. New area. This one. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreation. Oh my God! It had a it had a chessboard on there. Is this a strike board area? This is where we play strike. Oh, that's too bad. Where are we going? You drink some milk. Yep, that's how it works. Guess you should drink some milk I'm every day. What for? Every single day, drinking milk non-stop, straight from the robotic animals. Why can't I get in here? Bullshit! Give me. Give me it! Mine! I got it! What is this? Switch to a private log? Okay, so... Regional Control Center 9. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. <laughs> so, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. Piece de resistance, if you will. If you want. Okay. Run through here. 
There's a strike game board image on here. Can we play strike in here? I'm assuming we can come back and they're probably set up game boards and stuff. Because look, it has a strike board up top. We unlocked a new area. Okay. Talk to Varl. Gaia doesn't need it. Varl, <laughs> we're leaving. There she is. You ready to head out? Yeah. Get out. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened badasses. Yeah. Forging into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Three battle hardened badasses. My eye. In it. Oh, we're just we're just going at it. Okay. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? What the fuck is blowing up? Oh, don't tell me it's the far, far zenith. It is the zenith. Ha that person's dead. That person's dead. Merman. Dude, the zenith are crazy. Imagine having a zenith weapons and armor. Yes, get her with the ballista. What the hell? Did it, did it break her armor? Oh my god. What? They managed to kill a Zenith? Well, that takes the keg. They, did they just manage to kill a Zenith? They're supposed to have Im impenetrable armor. They just, sh sh they just fucking removed it somehow. I need to know how, dude. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. The zeniths are people from the from the space. They're aliens. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Yeah, look at this. This is their robots. Didn't make it. They're super high tech robots. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, zenith corpse. Whatever the rebels did. It took down her shield. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? What? It looked like she could Hello, make it come and go at will. What do you have for me? But it's gone. I now. checked everywhere, still no sign of the uh, asset. Well, can we do call off this pointless search I'll already? Wait here. Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. Okay. Yeah, they're from outer space. So they're from a tribe. So they're essentially, um, the old world. The people from, you know, our time. What a mess. And in, in the in the future. They sent a colony into space essentially, and they were thought to be dead, but that's where the Zeniths come from. So when the world reset and now we live in tribes and you know we hunt with bows and arrows, things like that. They are from space and they're super high tech. Like massively high tech. Ah. Ah. My weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Confirmed, what is the weakness of aliens? One of the sons of Prometheus. The ones working for silence. It looks like his focus why was sending data on the weapons. Uh, why aren't your asses dead dead long ago? It's because they just came they just probably. came to the planet. And if actually if you actually go uh, the coast. If I actually like traveled here, for instance, there's you. Oh no, over here. If I travel over here, if I'm not mistaken, there's just a giant boat right here, like their spaceship, and it takes up this entire zone. 
I just I physically can't go over there because I don't have the ability to fly yet. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Were they watching this area? Could have been. Forge's breath. What a mess. Spectre. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. They were able to kill the Spectre, too. I wonder what this asset is. I wasn't able to kill a Spectre. It was one-shotting right. me. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better... Oh, my eye. I get back to Erend. Hey, Erend, we found something. All right, she who sees the unseen. Uh, they essentially have in, they're supposed to have impenetrable armor and they shoot this lasers. A carefully planned attack. That insta kill people. I found camping gear. Scramble their there. insides. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, yeah. but somehow the weapon got rid of it. Exactly. The Osram that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Yeah. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset. Is that the uh, I wish I could loot the body. Thing you said this is a story there. thing, though. I can't do anything. I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Yes, we're talking to Varl. Varl, did you find anything? No, Casey, this is not D and D. You can't loot anything you want. Hello, Varl. You found a hole. Congratulations. You did a good job. You found a big That's hole in the wall. Way down. Yeah. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. Let's go oh, down. So we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That now, zenith I was uh, isn't actually going to go kind. save, but uh, I wasn't I expecting to, to uh, go through an show. entire story mission. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. Right, we're gonna do this. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Oh look, campsite. Far away though. Down we go. SOS coordinates. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah. From the proving lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it doesn't distract them. Maybe. Do nothing. That's where we have to go. It's over here. A chest is over here. That's it. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Let's do it. What the fuck is this? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. That's some high-tech shit right there. Well, this was a far zenith research lab. It looks mm. like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. <laughs> or anything you can blow up. High tech is, ju is just a battery. No, Casey. 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 Aren't all high tech things just on batteries? Door. 
Oh, all this more loot. Stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Loot. Well, now I'm loot. far zenith. Probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Yeah. That sounds about right. This way. Ectogenic chambers. Hmm. Like the ones I saw inside a zero dawn crater. Yes, he's pissed. <laughs> what were they for? He's Remember angry. When I told you I was made, not born. This is how. That looks like a That's boss a fight. Machine that makes a person. We That's better incredible. check in that room. Yeah. I'm not gonna read that. We scanned it. I'm not gonna read it. I guess we're going down into the boss arena. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, Air Spectre. Somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. That's a big thing. Uh, that's a big thing. That's glowing red. The control that, console. That usually means evil. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, Very glass are evil. You don't know what you're talking about, Casey. I know. That's our phone chargers confirmed. Enter code. I have a code. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? <laughs> Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. What, I want number 336. I should check the log. Can I go through all of them and Nothing. get loot from all of them? Oh, okay. The distress signal was... What was it? I've already forgotten. Uh... The distress signal said... <laughs> what was the number in the distress signal? Casey, tell me. What was the distress signal number? That's not true. It was not three. Uh, this one, the distress signal was not, okay, it's not here. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> don't know what the distress signal was. Maybe it's in here. Uh, game progression. We're sixty-four percent completed. Cool. Uh, it doesn't mean I know anything about what the distress signal was. It was a number. It was two hundred something. Ah, shit! I forgot. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-five. Two hundred and thirty-six containers. In How about this? Two thirty-five. Empty again. 234. 236 contain. Okay, let's it was try. it was 234, yes. wasn't it? Nothing. What about Fuck. that number in the distress signal? It was 200 something. Contain. Maybe this one. What do you think about this idea? What idea, Casey? Nothing. Fuck. What was the? <laughs> Yeah, what it was? What was it? For a chance, I know one of us makes like both. Uh... That sounds fun, but Casey, you know it would be really helpful if you could like tell me what the distress signal code was. I'm being serious. <laughs> Confirm Andy is going to be the thumbnail. I need a stress signal code. I don't remember what it is.
Flirt. I have faith in you, Casey. That's impossible. This is two, three, six. There's only two hundred thirty-six. That means no, that makes some sense. Two hundred thirty-six containers in storage. It was two, three, seven. But this is only two, thirty-six. I would never have guessed two, thirty-seven. I would never have guessed two, thirty-seven. It said two hundred thirty-six left. I would never have guessed that number. Look, there's a thing in there. It's a corpse? We found a corpse. Oh my god, is it me? It's me! Is it another clone or is it the same one we saw before? Aloy. Wait, does that mean there's 236 Dude. other ones of me? Somewhere out in the world. Makes Skin's sense as to why when Aloy nice. dies, she just comes back. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Yeah, she's a clone of uh, Elizabeth Sobek. Hello, hello, Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call <laughs> you. Her name is Beta. My name is Beta. I'm sure I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. Okay, so she's the one that uh, we saw before. Okay. With you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. They have the other three that were that are missing. Okay. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So they have all the three missing pieces that so we had, we couldn't find, but they don't have a way to use alive. them. still alive. We need to get her back to. No. Oh shit! They can fly. <laughs> oh no, Aaron. Aloy, Aloy can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. Ah, fuck. One of them is heading down towards that cloud, of course. Yeah, definitely. Up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. We got to help my clone. Or I'll protect her. My, I guess they're technically sisters because they're both clones of the same person. So it's, I guess they're sisters. I should prepare before the specter gets here. Yeah, let's I fucking let restock. On the clone. Fully restock. Yeah, da, 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 da. Uh. Yeah, I think we're good. As good as we're gonna get. We're gonna blow the shit up. I guess it wants me to lay traps down, but like I don't use traps. Here it comes. Here it goes. Where is it? And the boy, Sector, fire! I missed. Ooh, how fire! Are you? Got it. Pass it Bring it, fucker! Melee! Melee! Ah. Ow! Melee! Ah. Ow! Ah. I brought there's two of them, aren't there? See if it has any weak spots. No, there's only one. Ah. That piece quick. of shit. Looks like you need some more acid on you, buddy. Ah. Bring it, you piece of shit. High tech space mumbo jumbo. I will melee you to death. Where'd you go? Where are you at, piece of shit? Yeah, we there. killed it. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone Easiest for now. Easiest fight ever. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Gotta get back Confirm up top Andy and deal with kids. another specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Andy's father confirmed. Okay. 
Where are we going? This way? Confirmed father. Aloy! Ah. Errand! Errand, what's up, buddy? Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. No! Hang tight. I'm almost there. Aaron, I'm coming up. Just don't hurry. don't you fucking dare die. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm doing I my best. I'm doing my best. Aaron, I'm here. Where is it? There it is. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Been made. She'll stay put. Don't I'll see what I can do. Bring it, fucker. Ah, dude, we're taking this thing head on. Hit it again. Hey, ammo. I don't need no, ammo. We're taking no. this thing with melee. Dude, the fucking... We do so much damage. Look how much damage you did in one hit. Did you see that one hit? Where are you? Get the fuck over here, you piece of shit. Bah! I missed. Bah! No, I wanted to loot it! No! We did it, Aaron. We succeeded. My clone. Aloy. Hey, She's... Me, I know. Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? Or she could be a spy and she's really evil. You go on ahead. I need to take I think it's still alive. Weapon. I think it's still alive. I can figure out how yeah, she's works. very pretty. Let me tell you her lore Maybe for the next Zenith two hours. So invincible after all. You know, I don't know how that chick is still alive. She just kind of exists. Also, the thing we just killed is gone. I, I missed out on the loot. Oh, it's right here. I take it back. I found the loot. It's mine. Okay. Charred weapon. What is it? No. And it turned to nothing. Thank Damn God. It. Oh, maybe that's what it is. The ball. That's a ball. Well, it's better than nothing. Oh, you. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. Cool. If we can replicate it. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat this. I see that, Casey. I should check on the clone, too. No, well, I don't. Where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. No, no. Okay. I, I want to go save the game. Your focus acting up again? I want to I wanna save the game. They've locked the doors. Have to get the weapon fragment They've to locked the first. doors. I can't save the game. Check on the clone. So... What Aloy, happened? You're back. Yeah, I'm just uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Yeah, we keep her in the yes, basement. We keep the clones must be in the even basement. stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. We'll keep all of our clones in the Varl basement. Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. Companions. You said you met Beta. Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. Nah, we're she gonna keep like her down in the basement. The light of day as it is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this 
Hephaestus, and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our True. current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. That's it, Casey. I need to get going. Wow, that's it. May the land those, blue those are the only video game waifus you have. Lacking, Casey. Hello, Aaron. You okay? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. Have you met Beta? Did you speak with Beta at all? <laughs> she didn't really beta. wake up till we brought her here. He's a Beta. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy yeah, reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. So that's all you need, Andy? What are yeah. you working on with your focus? Earth, I'm still Earth and figuring Elena? out how to read oh, stuff Elena? on this thing. Elena. Those two lovebirds over there. Hell yeah, Elena, Elena. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. You're all good, Aaron. You're a legend. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Where'd Catalo go? Oh, is Catalo in his room? Must be in his bedroom. Here? Oh, that's my bedroom. So the old one Here. Looks like some of the Oh, he's in the game room. He set up the game room. He set up the game. Oh, he put me into the war room. I hope I'm not interrupting. Dang it. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's related to you. It's hard to explain. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. True. Maybe. Knox. Nothing on here, though. As their an exclamation point. Nothing new. What did Chief Akaro say when you told You spilt rebel blood at the there Well. Indeed. No, there's nothing new. Okay, that was weird. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. I don't know anything about did the you get game. A to meet her? She, she isn't briefly. Like a bold true. woman going into Tanakh the territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just Looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Training. You said you were training with the focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. Yes, they I'm are faster pretty legendary. and more agile than 
Any machines I've faced before. Basically, How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. They're not that bad. I've meleeed them to death. Getting Ether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. Mm. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. I need to go. On your way then. Okay, Casey, I understand. Okay, we gotta get to the basement. We get to the basement. Oh, yeah, the elevator shoot. That's how we get to the basement. Sliding downstairs like a boss. Aloy. Hello. Matt. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Go talk to my clone. Is this her bedroom? Or are we gonna keep this? Is, are we Hello? actually gonna keep her in the basement? It's uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? What's up, Beta? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. I don't trust her, dude. Yeah. I really don't trust her. Never trust a clone, dude. Booting up. I don't trust her at all. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information about you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago. You saucy, saucy, that dude. Seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Yes. Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. They the just same ones okay, who left Earth thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made on the way to Earth. The Zeniths are thousands of years old. They're just immortal when it in comes to aging. Interface, well, so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Hmm. Zeniths for the planet, for the Earth. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care. Yes, the, the Zeniths so are just Thanos, confirmed. I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Uh, Zeniths, obviously. Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. Your role in the Zenith plan. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you, trained you, and you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. Extinction signal. 
So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. Stop giving, Stop giving her shit. About the so Zeniths. we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. Yeah. What else do you know about them? Their people. They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. I can yeah, see that. I know. Gerard sounds like a bitch. Yeah, dude, he sounds like a fucking bitch. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. All the Xenus are bitches. It? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. Uh, Silence rule and all this is still unknown, but the entire point of the game is that we're trying to stop him. The Zeniths are a What's inside the base? enemy that appeared while trying to find Silence. To their ship in orbit. They're kind of pushed Silence to be a side and fabricate anything enemy, need. and now they're like the main bad. The ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them. Yeah, there's two base, big bad guys. Survivors of the colony. In the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. I guess they survived. Casey, bad guy, confirm Casey is the bad guy. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. I need to escape. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bainus dead? How yeah. did they bypass her shield? Fucked her up. I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. And I distracted Verbena long Ooh. enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber. You better be able to romance herself in game. We need, logs, so this is the only one she'd be open to romancing. Containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Great of it if she did, it's the only one she could possibly ever romance. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was uh, allowed to access. Probably some spit or something. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning okay. modules and evaluate uh -huh. my progress. Wait, those names. Stop giving They were Ada, designed to Ada. be the virtual guides um, for the Beta Apollo and Aloy shit. Before Ted Farrell purged it. 
The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested now, information totally outside of my in a way narcissistic. would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. I'll let you rest. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. She's a bitch. You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're going to find me. They're going to find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm going to die. Hey. Bruh, down. she's a bitch. You're Beta sussy now, right? as fuck, dude. So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Shut the fuck up. Engineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well... See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. Ah, she needs to shut the fuck up. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. Thank you, Varl. At least you can put up with her. I don't want to talk to her again. She says as fuck. I, get the weapon I don't trust her. I'm telling you. Carl. Put blades on their hey. You and Darren okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing. It's a lot. Even for you. Just try to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. You killed Beta for me, so it looks like an accident. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. Yeah, that's basically true. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's Makes sense. not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift. And to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. <gasps> Something from the <gasps> old world that she's never seen before. Well, Instead, if you can... I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. Oh. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something stuffed else. Stuffed animal, is thinking about taxidermy? Okay, so you can't. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Okay. So, um... Gaia, I'm coming. Welcome back. Gaia. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. Found the ball. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it. Maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the Zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Okay. Scan. His ball. Complete. 
By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command mm. executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Fucking Based silence, on your dude. Data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Yeah. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Bye, Gaia. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Simon's Yay, weapon. Yay, recovered beta. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't... There's a side quest here as well. Don't let it distract me. They're in the sand I sea. still have two more... Hi, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Could Hephaestus help us defeat Zenus? So once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, yeah, beta fucking better get a slap. the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So you could build an army of machines, attack the Zenus, and take them out. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Uh, missing subordinate functions. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the earth with a variety of went over this. Apollo and disseminate. Unfortunate, all are understand. We already went over this guy. Uh, all three or were. I don't, why, I don't know why it was relit up. Unfortunate. Attaining them. In I guess our best shot at recovering them is by taking over the Zenith base. But we'll need Hurry Hephaestus up. and a bunch of combat machines to do that. Correct. It was relit up because it had a bunch of extra info. Which, I don't know why it had to go over what we already knew, though, to tell us the extra info. The Zenith's plan for Earth. Beta believes the Zenus want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. 
Exactly. The Zenas. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. Do you know anything about them? Unfortunately, no. My personal database is limited to those who worked on Zero Dawn. Additionally, it appears Far Zenith was quite secretive about their members. Only one, Oswald Dalgard, was ever publicly known. Right. He was the spokesperson back at their old launch facility. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. I don't think Gaia ever stops talking, I'm gonna be honest. The extinction There's signal just didn't so just much make info. Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered Ooh. this myself. So far as Drop I can remote. tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. How could the Zeniths know that? It's funny From because the there's actually a complaint focus, about it appears far this game talking about how it has too much talking. Zero Dawn. Honestly, Head I kind of see this so much. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. It is likely Far Zenith acquired knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. So, from what Beta told me, there, no, no, Andy. There is no the gameplay in this game. Is it is only dialogue. Of ways, Honestly, right? it would have been a better movie. Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Always hope. There's only our progress. Beta. So... I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. Yeah, she's a sussy bitch. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. Exactly. It is true. She overestimated our progress. However... It is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Okay, I'm 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 leaving. Well, I'm leaving, back. Gaia. Okay. Goodbye, Aloy. Goodbye, Gaia. Come back and get the side quest. We need to go to a fucking bonfire, dude. There's been so much info that I need to fucking save. What the fuck? Makes you want to punch something. Yeah. My fingers feel stiff in this cold. Aaron is a legend. Aaron is the best character in the game. As he's just rocking out to fucking music, dude. Yeah, we'll grab this since I don't know if it's temporary or not. Sit, Hello, listen to rumor. A new rumor. Thought I got them all. Where's for the days tall neck? Ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be, if you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. New Aaron in bloom. 